guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome please hit the subscribe button and like comment and for those who are returning thank you guys so much for continuing for your continuing support and just continuing to be there for me today's video is kind of um interesting it's gonna be the top five tips that i would give my younger self if you guys don't know i just turned 22 this past week um i turned 22 on wednesday so just kind of like getting older and reflecting and seeing like all the old pictures that my friends and family were posting it was like well, a blast from the past so yeah stay tuned if you're one just kind of like reminisce and just kind of go down memory lane or if you're just like oh my gosh i just want to see her in some crazy outfits and what she needs to do crazy with her hair and makeup then definitely stay tuned yeah let's get started so tip number one that i would give my younger self is Name brands go out of style. Do not, do not make your parents go broke trying to have everyone else in school because y'all remember Ed Hardy, y'all remember Rockaware, y'all remember South Pole, y'all remember pastries. Let me just tell y'all, I had these bright pink and blue pastry shoes. I mean, shout out the Simmons sisters, but I was looking crazy. Like literally they went with nothing. I went to an all uniform school in middle school and elementary school and literally I would have on a white polo and some like dark blue uniform pants and these bright, bright, bright pink and blue pastries. I thought I was like, you know, killing it. I would go to Glitter for those who know at Isla Mall, shout out Isla Mall. I would go to the Glitter and just stock up on accessories. So yeah, it was crazy. But yeah, these pastries, I thought it was it. And all my friends used to have Ed Hardy. I used to have a South Pole book bag. Like just don't worry about name brands because they go out of style. Just, you know, if you like it, get it. That's all that matters because it, it, it all goes out of style. Baby jam, it does. But the second thing I would tell myself is don't be afraid to be different. Everyone in middle school, I mean, middle school is already a tough time. High school is a tough, school period is a tough time. And you're just trying to get someone to like you or you're just trying to find yourself. But don't be afraid if you're trying to find yourself and it's not like everyone else. If you like things that are different, if you like puffy sleeves, if you like different colored hair, if you like things that are just weird and crazy and you want to try it, don't be afraid to try it. Just because everyone else isn't doing it doesn't mean it couldn't work for you. And for all the high school and middle schoolers watching this, if you want to be something fashion forward or you think that it might not be cool or whatever, just do it. And it's going to be you and you're going to be better. That You're going to feel way better that you did it. So yeah. Tip number three that I would give my baby self is definitely, definitely everything you do is not cute. No one cares, Jamela. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, baby jam, but nobody cares that you got stuck in the rain. Sorry, Brie and Imani, I gotta pull it out. But yeah, nobody cares you got stuck in the rain and now you have a picture on Facebook forever of you looking like a raccoon because you got stuck in the rain because you thought somebody would care. No one cares. Nobody. Only post cute pictures. I mean, like, you can post an everyday pic, but, like, now it's sort of stuck on the internet. So, literally, to everyone that's watching, just make sure you know what to post because now some of the most embarrassing things, fashion trends, fashion faces. Y'all remember the... Y'all remember those? Come on now, y'all remember all of those? You know, those go out of style. And now we look back and we're cringeworthy. It's very cringeworthy. So just make sure you know what you post. And yeah, everyone doesn't care. And everything is a cute. So just, if I could tell myself one thing, that would, that would be one of the things. One. Tip number four that I would give my younger self is... I know it was hard, you know, like growing up, my dad was very, very strict. He didn't, you know, let me wear like short shorts. I couldn't wear like skirts above like my knee. It was, it was a hard time, especially in the summer, but it's okay. 
Jamila, you'll get through it and it'll make you a better person because now when you go out and you see some crazy stuff, you're like, wow, I'm glad my dad, you know, taught me a little bit of something so I don't go out looking crazy. But yeah, I know it's hard. I know it's so hard. And for all of the other girls out there or guys or whatever um, that struggle with their parents highly, highly monitoring what they wear, I get it. It's hard, but you'll get through it. And it'll make you a stronger person. And to me, it made me a more fashion forward person because I had to find different elements of clothes and outfits that would make me stand out, but wouldn't make everything hang out. So, I mean, it, it, it's, it'll, you'll get through it. I know you're frustrated. I know it's hot. I know it's 90 degrees and your dad got you out there in some Bermuda shorts, but it's okay. You will get through it. It's fine. So the last thing, the last tip that I would tell young me and even current me is clothes are everything. But do not go broke trying to buy clothes and have a huge closet. Clothes are great. I love clothes. Y'all know I love clothes. I love shopping. But it's always good to stay smart. There are so many things that I've bought that I don't even A, wear anymore, or B, we're in and out, or C, I just kinda like saw it online and really, really wanted it, but then like wore it maybe once. So just be smart when, with spending because the hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars that I have spent on clothes that I wish, I wish I could get back, especially my freshman year of college because I was obsessed with pink, and I don't even, I haven't been to pink in like almost a year now. So like, just, I understand it's cool and it's in, everyone else has it, but just do it in moderation because money and saving is way, way, way more important. But that is the last thing I could tell myself. If I could go back in time, if I could do things over, I would do at least those five things over again and just see where I end up. But if you guys have any other things that you guys would wanna tell yourself when you were younger, comment down below. Um, if you can relate to any of, the, of these things that I've talked about, also comment down below and be like, I can relate. Um, especially my generation, I mean, like we really had it rough growing up because like we've been just kind of in this like lots and lots of phases. Like there was the off the shoulder phase, there was the crop top phase. There's just a lot of phases that our generation had to go through. And this current generation, I mean like, there's 15 and 16 year olds that look better than me. I mean like they're killing it out there. And I wish like I knew what they know. I mean with like Google and the world of YouTube and just everything these kids are exposed to, they got it good. But Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. Um, I love you guys so much, but it's continuing to grow. Um, yeah, so please like, share, watch all of my other videos. And yeah, until next time, stay fun, stay fashionable, and stay fierce. Bye, guys.